ancient Hawaiian word meaning breath. I have a question. Is that pop in my lungs or vacuumed into your tourist attraction? Pardon me. I don't know much about breathing. When I was born, I didn't breathe for nine minutes, and it still feels like I'm waiting for my first breath to catch me. I want it to be held in a cradle of oxygen, but this exhaust pipe car seat is top. The only good Hawaiian breath is choking on its own safety belt, so I want to know. What does a real Hawaiian's breathing sound like? Maybe it should sound like, what, you fucker? Crap, no, ah, I gotta defend Hawaii, so I'll tap you out, because I don't care. Or maybe it should sound like, oh, welcome to our island. Would you like a carnation way? Or maybe something more traditional. I have some freshly plucked pura whore out with my culture, because the welfare check hasn't come in yet, and my kids really need to eat. If you were wondering where our dignity went, it's probably somewhere between that Polynesian cultural center tour bus that passed you by and that Hawaiian Airlines commercial you saw me in. Because that's my Hawaii. Or maybe it sounds like this. In words, there's life, and in words, there's death. And I've been trying to listen for that lively breath, but right now all I can hear is a death row. We've been blaming external sources for our oppression for over a century, but we're holding our own strings now. Because the puppeteer put us on autopilot a long time ago. See, it's a lot easier to commit genocide than the people you want to massacre and do the dirty work for you. So shouldn't I wear the same flag around my neck? Don't we need this vocal tourniquet to keep any wrong words from gushing out? I mean, everyone else with my skin color is wearing it. Suppression served Hawaiian style. The suit you want to follow. Look at this flag. Just because it's no longer covered in stars and stripes doesn't mean we can trust it so well. If this is the Hawaiian flag, then tell me something. Why is it covered with splatter? Why is it splattered with the colors of America? Don't you know? You can add all the pitch into your voice, but it still won't go away that you can get it in your mouth. I've tried breathing around it, but my whole culture has turned into whispers of smoke left over after July 4th fireworks. And I'm stuck in the ghost trails, watching my beautiful people become stolen art sitting in display boxes at the Bishop Museum. It's not a Hawaiian home, a can of spam, ingredients, ham, pork, pre-cooked native people, separated chicken fat, suffocation, and sodium nitrate, but I do not want to be an emergency food farm raised in emergency schools to preserve the flavor of our native tongues and used in the time of war so they can serve us up in bite-sized body bags. What kind of a sovereignty can we have? We are just a commodity putting food stamps in the backs of our throats so we can buy back our own breaths and control rations. Our breathing has been cut for so long that the blood in our veins matches the blue in our collars. But I'm done waiting. I'm going to catch that first breath for myself and turn my mixed blood red like it should be because you can't have aloha. No how. 